Hi students hope all are fine welcome to the world of computer in this section we are going to learn chapter 2 personalizing windows 7 personalization is the process of adjusting the look feel and organization of a windows end user experience all of you might be knowing that Windows is a graphical user interface that is GUI based operating system which was provided by Microsoft it is the most commonly used operating system some of the popular versions of windows are windows xp windows 7 and windows 10 next is getting started with windows 7 Do you know what is booting? Whenever you turn on the computer, it starts booting. Booting is a process of starting a computer. This means the operating system gets loaded in the computer's memory and then the Windows 7 welcome screen appears. After a few seconds, the final screen appears. This final screen is called the desktop. Next we can learn components of Windows 7 desktop. Let's see in detail the each component. First is desktop background. The image in the background of the icons is called desktop background or wallpaper. The default wallpaper is the Windows screen. We can change the wallpaper and can have any picture of our choice in its place next is icons small graphical representation of various files or folders programs or applications are known as icons by double clicking on them we can quickly open the files folders or programs next one is taskbar it is at the bottom of the desktop it helps to manage various currently active programs open in different windows we can switch between these programs by clicking their buttons on the taskbar it also has a start button a clock icon and show desktop button next one is start button it's known as the gateway to windows and its programs it opens the start menu when we click on it the start menu is divided into two pans left pan and right pan the left pan is used to access programs or to search files folders in the computer the right pan gives access to some common folders like documents pictures music computer etc next topic is show desktop button windows 7 provides a new feature called arrow peek through which we can instantly minimize the entire screen to view the desktop it allows the user to view their desktop by placing their mouse over arrow peek in the far right side of the taskbar for this you have to place the mouse pointer on the show desktop button on right corner of the taskbar all the open windows become transparent and we can instantly see the desktop then click on the show desktop button to view the desktop each window minimizes in the taskbar next topic is clock have you noticed the time on the right bottom when the mouse pointer is placed on the right side of the taskbar current date and time is displayed even if the computer is switched off the computer keeps the date and time updated automatically with the help of a small battery inside it we can see how to update date first step is click on clock in the notification area to open calendar and clock second step is 
click change date and time settings to open date and time dialog box. Third step is click change date and time button. Date and time settings dialog box opens. Fourth step is modify the calendar settings as needed to select the correct date. Next we can see how to update time. First step is from date and time settings dialog box click on hours, minutes or seconds to change. Second step is use up or down buttons to change their values. With the change in the time in digital clock, analog clock is automatically updated. Third step is close the date and time settings dialog box by clicking on OK button. The notification area will start showing the updated date and time. See you through the next section. Take care all of you. Bye.